market roadmap people this is December 12th 2021 we're gonna go through the list this week so starting up here with American Express AXP we had a one two three wave kind of pushed kind of deep below the market roadmap line but we're back above with an entry uh, an aggressive entry signal right here 513 cross you can't see it on this indicator but if I turn it on right there it did cross the little green arrow in echo trades in, in echo trade indicator code is a signal for an aggressive entry right here now confirmation and delete this prior fib we did come up and hit the 272 level on a prior run so now we have this right here and the aggressive confirmation is going to come is going to be a move above this 174 area right here the 618 fib all right EFA had a deep one didn't make a higher high so that's a two three that's a ABC right there pretty much a, a flat this is a uh, an ETF and it also has an aggressive entry right here but I definitely want to see it close above 79 right there so look it up here prior high low So how it goes over here. I want to see, yeah, above that 79, 80 area right there. Take you up to 84. All right. Next one on the list, KO. This one definitely popping up there on Friday. Grass entry. This one had the same sort of. This was a higher high over here. A B C. Big flat correction. And go from the highest high. And low is low we are above so this one's got the a aggressive entry and a confirmation here on Friday so getting above this high right here is like the conservative the conservative uh, confirmation right there we're right around 57 so popping above that is gonna be super bullish to get to 59 at least maybe to do 60 up there this one looks like it could go a little faster than uh, the normal expectation MGM was closing that area red on Friday so this is one you gotta watch we definitely need a close back above this right this well let's do this one you know, this little zone right here where these tails topped out and probably that whole area right there you know gotta get above that so something above 44 and then look at the fib level retrace right here and yeah, 46 so that's gonna be first you need the 513 cross don't have it yet then you need a close above here then you need a close above up here then it can shoot us up to targets like 54 76 59 or you know some of these higher targets Next one up, SLB Schlumberg. Um, let's zoom out just a bit. Yeah, so this one's been uh, tried to break above. It may make a lower low, but if it holds right here above here, it's got the entry. I would love. I wouldn't really be interested in getting any into it unless it gets above right here, above right there. Um, Let's look at the bigger the bigger pullback it did is the one I want to use right here stopped at the 786 so it had an entry kind of failed so if you get back in here on a move above 31 we definitely want to see it clear right in here it needs to clear these levels at 35 then it'd be set up to go to 39 and 43 the targets remember you want to keep your stop down here underneath if you get into this one I'll probably put it underneath this prior low right here 
around 28. If you're getting into that right now, I'd put a stop there. I would definitely look to get in above these levels right up here. All right, XME, that's a ETF, Metals and Mining. Um, does not have an entry yet. It is just kind of bouncing there. We've had this uh, sideways corrective, so I'm not sure it can clear highs, but if it does start looking bullish, my entry would be above this area right there for sure. Probably up to that pivot it missed right up there. And then it's going to look something like highest high, lowest low. Yeah, it definitely needs to break above this prior high. It's kind of topped out there, double, kind of what they call a double top so far. But that could take us up to the 50, 54, even 67 levels. So, all right. Let's look back at last week's run through the list real quick. BP. Did kind of, it did form an entry. Um, pulled back a little bit. Love to see it break out above there. Or continued upside kind of lots of red days even though they were going up that's kind of an odd situation so we need to see that break above that area and get above the 2845 confirmation Cisco boom breaking out look at that it's beautiful all the things I said you need to look for that's well on its way to 62 84 66 DE still messing around down here needs to break above these highs did get a new confirmation or a new aggressive entry excuse me say the right word new aggressive entry Morgan Stanley did not hold above the confirmation popped up and right back down and we're on a daily chart so you just have to look at these once a day that was kind of like the aggressive entry and a aggressive confirmation all at once but then it rejected it right back down heading toward that missed weekly pivot if the next time it comes out it should get going but not completely sure if that'll happen or not Noki look at that. that that appears to be on its way those higher targets around 650 to seven dollars all right TGT Ended the week down here on the roadmap line. Not great. Need to see it. You know, get the aggressive entry. The 513. I'm still waiting. All right, XLU. That one is doing. I mean, it, it it did everything I was looking for last week. Get above here. Staying above there. This one should break on out. Getting a little a little trouble getting above 70. 70 is like the ultimate confirmation right there. The you know, conservative confirmations when you break out you'll be headed to 71.85 at least 74 or even some of these higher targets up around 80. MARA never formed at 513 aggressive entry came back retest the roadmap line one more time all right let's just briefly briefly run through the prior work we Goldman Sachs has an aggressive entry but has not confirmed MS was still on the list we already talked about. NOK okay, still on the list we talked about. OPRX, eh, off the list. Not even, not even anything to look at right now. OXY, just forming the aggressive entry right here. We need to see it confirm above 33 area. And then TGT, we already talked about. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this week, December 12th, 2021. I hope you have a great week. And remember, you've got Discord. You can ask questions. Thanks for watching.